Hey everyone, welcome back to the Patrol Vlog, Season 4, Episode 7. If you guys are new here, make sure to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up. It helps push it out to more and more people so they can see content like this. If you want to help support the channel, I have a Venmo link down in the description below, along with all of my other social media accounts, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Go ahead and click on those and join me over there. I post videos on Instagram in between the full-length YouTube videos like this. Coming up here, this call was titled a keep the peace, I believe, or family trouble. It was a mother and a son having some issues. The son's the one who called us. They gave us the house address, but he ended up not being there to start with. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions about why some people's faces are blurred and some are not. If someone calls 911, they're considered a protected party and their face is automatically blurred as part of the redaction process. In this case, the mom is blurred because she's the son's mom, and so anybody who could potentially identify the victim is also protected. I thought you were my son. Well, he's actually the one who called us. Yeah, he walked to the park um, because we're having some issues. And our, earlier, I had called someone out here yeah. because he's had paraphernalia. Yeah. I haven't been texting, but he's been or was smoking for some medical. And he's still carrying the same behaviors that he did before. He has outbursts and all this stuff, so he's been aggravating me almost all day now because I did that. Well, we're here because he called. Yes, I know. He called because... Because he thought I was going to call, and I'm like, no, I'm not going to call again because I've already called. Yeah. Um, he said something about you damaging his vehicle? He, I don't, I haven't driven that car since ages because he doesn't have insurance anymore. And if I did something to his car, I would tell him because he has full coverage or has full coverage. Uh -huh. That was way back at a hotel, so I don't know what he's referring to. Okay. I drive that car, and I have a scooter in the garage. Okay. Is the car under your name? No. It's just under his name? Yeah. Okay. How long ago did he leave? He just left like maybe 10 minutes ago because he smokes those cigars. I have migraines. Uh -huh. I have a lot of health issues. But, and I asked him not to smoke in front of the door here because it reeks. It's those black and milds. Yeah. Um, so, and I've quit smoking recently again because I'm not supposed to smoke. But when I have migraines, I can't stand it. And my uncle... My uncle, my brother, does not want no smoke. My mom smoked in here for years. She passed away, so... So at this point, the mom keeps going on and on about him smoking in the house and the uncle who owns the house doesn't like it. She gets migraines from it. She has this whole list of issues of why she thinks he called the cops because he thought she was going to call the cops. So this is obviously not a police matter. It's pretty ridiculous that we have to be there. And with that being said, I made a comment similar to that in my last video and a couple people basically said oh god forbid you have to do your job listen this has nothing to do with me doing my job i'm fine doing this this is an easy call i sit there i get paid good money per hour i don't have to write a report or anything but i stand by the fact that we shouldn't have to be there these are two grown adults a mother and a son who literally are having a war of who's going to call the police on the other first so they do it and that's what my comment means when it comes to that i mean i'm sorry but the taxpayers dollars could be used on on much better things at this point but we don't have a choice when these calls come in we have to go to them and we have to resolve them to the best of our ability while we're there that's all that comment meant when i said it okay. and then if he doesn't we'll get out of your hair so at that point i had asked the mom to call the son because we were sitting there just going around in circles and not really serving any purpose so it went right to voicemail and we actually end up leaving and then here it's going to cut to the next part of the video we're actually standing out by the road he called us back and was on his way walking down the street so we waited for him so we could talk to him and get his side of the story once again hopefully to get just things wrapped up while we were there and not be called out a few minutes later when he finally got home so take a listen to what his complaints are and again remind you this this is a grown man, I mean, in his 30s, I believe, living at home with his mom and uncle and the complaints that he has of why he called the police. And you'll hear my recruit even lecture him on it. Um, I, I, I woke up this morning and she, she just flipped out on me because I didn't do dishes and I had a bowl in my room. And, uh, we just kind of got in more of an argument. Um, I mean, I, I had a, I had a pipe in my room. Um, there's nothing in it. 
and uh, she pretty much called the cops and they, they took her or whatever earlier. And then um, I, I've been having an issue with my car. Um, I, I think she hit something because I let her borrow it one day and she came it, she came back and my car was wobbly and my my tire light was on and my my rods sound like they're messed up. So I kind of confronted her about it and she just flipped out and then I, I kind of confronted her when I got back and she, she flipped out again and got in my face screaming at me. And I, I'm trying to have an adult conversation with her to get the truth out. And I, I just don't get that. And anything I try to talk to her about, it just explodes into an argument. You know, I, I, I'm not trying to cause So why problems. did you call us today? Because she was, she was threatening with me with the police. And I, I just, I, I don't have anything, you know, bad on me. Like, I don't have anything to, you know, have the police on me for. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm a good kid. Like, I stay out of trouble. I keep my nose clean and take care of my priorities. I was just worried because... So you called us because she was threatening to call police. Okay. So that's not a police matter. You yeah, I, that, I, right? I know. I just, I, I, was, I was stressed and like... I, we just moved here um, because my grandma passed away, and I, I'm just not trying to get kicked out, you know? Okay. Well, and same thing I told your mom. This is a whole lot of family drama that honestly doesn't concern us, okay? Unless it's a criminal in nature, it's it's a waste yeah. of our time. I, I, I'm sorry for wasting your time. No, it's either. okay. It sounds like, I mean, taking a walk is, is good on you. Like, I commend you for doing that if things are getting heated. But you and your mom just need to sit down when things aren't so high I, 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 and I, have a com an adult thing. conversation. Like, I, I'm not going to be able to talk to her because it always escalates. And right. I, I, I'm not trying to escalate it, you know. Then I suggest maybe one or both of you look at a different living Place situation. Live. You know? Because right. if you guys can't get along and you're living under the same roof, that's probably not the best ideal situation, right? Yeah. Which yeah. it sounds like this is going to be pretty temporary anyway because she said the house is in probate. It's going to be getting ready to get sold. So your time here is limited anyway. So, you know, it might be a good time to start making okay. arrangements, you know, while you still have a roof over your head. Yeah. And... yeah I, honestly, I just really need someone to talk to because, I, I, I mean, not you guys, but, I mean, you're here now. So I just... I, I don't know. I'm just not trying to have any conflicts. Right. You know? Yeah, and and again, the same thing I told her. You know, keep your your space between your mom unless you guys are able to truly sit down and have adult conversations with one another. If you're if you're not able to, or if she's not able to, then just essentially try to you know stay out of her way. Right. It's it's really hard for me to do that because she she does say a lot of things that triggers you know me. But, right, and you can't control her, right? The only person you can control is yourself. So you, you need to be the adult in this situation then. And, I mean, you just make the smartest decision possible, right? right. For what it's worth, we asked her about the car, and she said that you were claiming she did something to it. And she's like, I haven't driven that car in a long time. She's like, if I did do something to it, I would have told him. She's like, he has full coverage insurance. So I would have told him that way it could get fixed. So she's like, I don't know what he's talking about. I can't believe anything she's saying because if someone takes your car and it comes back wobbly and there's a light on. Right. So, I mean, she could have, well, an issue. all right. And so she could have hit a curb or something like that. But so here, let me put it towards you like this. We asked her, that was her response. All right. You can't expect to get a different response. If that was her answer, whether you believe it or not is almost irrelevant to get into an argument with her or to keep hounding her about it, if she's already given you an answer, you just don't like it, you're kind of at a dead end at that point. You know what I mean? So I kind of think that that topic is, is done and over. If you need to take the car to the shop, get an estimate, prove that there's something wrong with it, you can. But there again, at the end of the day, if she still goes, I didn't do anything. I don't know why it's like that. Now, there again, you're, you're up against the wall. So it's like, don't stress yourself out over something that you're not gonna be able to change anyway. Um, and just kind of move on. You know what I mean? So that's her position on it. I don't foresee it changing. So and if that's going to annoy you, then I would say you almost have to drop it. Make sure she uh, just doesn't totally drive your right. car just drop it because it's not ever going to. So. All right. Well, I wish you the best. I'm sorry you're going through all this, but just try to keep your space from her, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Good job. You guys. Yeah, you Take have care. a great day, okay? All right, so that's where this one wraps up. A little bit of advice all the way around, and hopefully they they get along. Like I, you heard me say to the people, I mean, at a certain point, it's just not even worth discussing the stuff because nobody's position is going to change on it, and you're just going to keep getting this same result at the end of the day. 
Moving on now here, we've got a traffic stop. This is a scooter that I pulled over when I was behind it. It basically looked like it had no brake lights, if I remember correctly. And you'll see it was an optical illusion to a degree, but obviously with the way the equipment was mounted, it still needs to be changed. Hey, just go ahead a little bit further up to that next street. You're good. Just, just pull up to that next street and pull off. You're good. All right, so this is one of these examples where the second I turn the lights on, for the most part, they just stopped in the middle of the street. So for any of you who have not been pulled over by the police or if you get pulled over in the near future, it is totally fine for us. And we would appreciate it, actually, if you pull up just a little bit further to the next side street or a parking lot and pull off the roadway so both you and I can get all the way off the road and it's safer for everybody involved. And it's not going to bother us uh, one bit. If you're concerned about it, you could put your hazards on or your turn signal, something like that. So we're aware you realize you're being stopped but you're obviously going to just you know pull up and forward a little bit more hey man, man how's it going, how's it going man? Uh, not too bad not all right good. so i needed to get up here a little bit closer what i was trying to yeah. figure out is the way you did your tail lights here has anybody ever stopped you about this before it's the first time because i had a light bar here and okay. it burnt out so i got these on amazon i literally it's the first time today I brought to work. I work at Advance right down the road. Okay, all right, all right. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. What's up with them? Basically, so the, where they're positioned, yes, when sir. you're directly behind you at like normal car level, you can only see like a top little portion here and a top little portion. So like you can barely see them. The, the, the bar like blocks almost the entire view of them. So when it comes to taillights, they're oh, supposed to be you know unobstructed blah 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 that I sort get of thing it. i'll cut the fr yeah i'll go up a little more. i may have to make the bracket and whatnot because of this i couldn't put like a bag here or whatnot too right fuck dude yeah no you're right it's and i mean like i said <laughs> and honestly i don't care as much yeah, I can move it up here. for that because you can like i said when you when you give it the brakes like you can see they get a little yeah, bit brighter good. it's just but it's like these four little corners i'm more worried about you're people right. not being able to see you no you're right you know what i mean and, and somebody just creams you from behind I got because i was uh meeting up with my brothers at the monkey bar and uh i got pulled over as well because this one was too faint and it was an older one so right. i understood that so yeah I got is there any way analysis. yeah i'm gonna move it up i made a bracket under the seat is there any way to just mount these on this or no? Oh, I can do that too, actually, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's just a no, thought. No, if that's where, sure, if sure. that's where you had your LED one before, sure, yeah, you know no, what no. I mean? And then I would leave more like space, like put whatever there. No, you're right. Right. But no, uh, thank you for that for sure. That's dude. it, man. That's it. No. This is the first time I actually got it out. I got the lights on. And yeah. Like, so like when you're in a car behind you, like it's just yeah, you dude. barely. I get it. Especially when, and again, it changes with angle. You know what I mean. No, so does, like, if dude. if our car that where I was behind you, yeah. that distance makes it like right in front of it. Right here, you can see the whole thing. You know what I mean. As soon as you get close to it, but you obviously don't want cars riding up on no, your butt no, this no, close anyway. So that's I it, man. Just see if you can move them, <laughs> no, I will. and it'll be tonight. safer for you. All right. Well, tonight, thank you, man. All right, man. I Take will. care. All right, simple little traffic stop. I had already run his plate. I knew his license was valid, so I didn't take it and bring it back to the car and run it further or anything. There was just no reason to do that, mainly for the safety aspect of it. I just wanted to let him know because uh, dark street, no street lights, little scooters like this, people here end up just, you know, running into that guy and creaming him, never even see him. So uh, I wanted him to make sure he got that squared away so he was safe. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this wasn't a super exciting video. Just so you know, I have uh, requested a couple videos with the donations that you guys have made so far so I could get longer videos that are harder to get and they have some more action in them. I got a foot pursuit, a couple takedowns, uh, a guy that escapes out of handcuffs and another one. So I'm waiting on all that stuff. It takes a little while to get them, but I've got some good ones coming up. So bear with me on all of that. Guys, thank you so much again. Like I said earlier, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, hit a thumbs up for me so this video can get out to more and more people. And until the next video, I want you guys to take really good care of yourselves and stay safe out there.